Thousands of folks in East Texas are still without power tonight after Tropical Storm Barrel brought heavy rain, strong winds and multiple suspected tornadoes. Our Savannah Hale caught up with those working to help where it's needed now that that storm has passed. Tropical Storm Barrel may be gone and the sun may be shining, but some areas in East Texas might be feeling the effects for a little longer. We're still in the middle of uh, damage assessments. Tuesday afternoon, SWEPCO's external affairs manager, Mark Robinson, said they've had crews out working quickly to get the power back in all places. Uh, we had 14,000 customers out uh, at the peak last night, and we're down to under 9,000 already. But if you or someone you know is one of those who needs a break before the power is restored, listen up. The city of Longview has put together a cooling center at the ModCobb Convention Center at the exhibition building. Uh, I think it'll be open until nine o'clock tonight. So that'll get you back into the cooler temperatures. Uh, but if you're out of AC, uh, you need something cold uh, to drink or a snack and AC, you can swing by there and they've set that up, I think in partnership with the Salvation Army. And so they're doing a great job. You can visit the cooling station or the Salvation Army in Longview. Core Mission Associate of the Salvation Army, Sarah Herbert, says there's no questions asked if you need anything at all. Walk through those doors and come get some food, 5.45 to 6.30. We are, well, we're more than willing to do anything to help anybody right now. Even if you need help getting there, Herbert says they can make that happen as well. We'll be transporting people if they need a ride. We've got a van going around town right now picking up people. I'll be picking up people. Miss Captain uh, Tamara Robb will be picking up people. Anybody that needs anything, they can call. Our, our phones are back on, so they can call if they need a ride to the cooling station or if they, they need to come eat dinner here at 5.45 to 6.30. A good example of East Texans always looking out for one another. For CBS 19, I'm Savannah Hale.